Hello and welcome to a demonstration of the classic evolutionary algorithm's capability to perform a simple robotic task. My name is Faisal Tamish. I'm working with Dr. Chris Adami and Dr. Arendt Hinsey as an undergraduate student studying evolutionary robotics and machine learning. Initially, the simulation takes place within an environment created by an architect. Here, the laws of physics can be created and intertwined, similar to the mechanics of a game engine. Furthermore, artificial organisms, also known as agents, are placed into the simulated world. The world used here will be a simple two-dimensional grid with a third dimension corresponding to brightness. An agent's purpose is dictated by the architect's fitness function. This function, depending on its interaction with the simulated environment, determines which organisms will have a greater number of offspring, therefore manifesting more fit genomes as more successful organisms throughout the course of the evolutionary process. This explains why the simulation monitor shows trails of the agents eventually moving towards the top right of the grid. After the simulation is complete, the brain is implemented in the real world. I'll be using the Capera 3 robot, which as an embedded system, hosts a customized Linux operating system that interfaces with the robot's sensors and actuators. By communicating with the robot through Bluetooth, I can download the evolved Markov brain to run using the real sensors and actuators. The task for the robot is to find the darkest spot on the piece of paper. Finding the solution to this problem using the classical, non-evolutionary approach is quite simple. However, to prove that the evolutionary algorithm can be applied to robotics, we will tackle and solve this problem. The fitness function, depending on the x and y coordinates of the robot and the simulated world in this case, is the value of the z-axis. The greater, the more fit the agent is. By feeding the Markov brain two bits of data, indicating the brightness relativity between the sensors, and expecting two bits of output, indicating whether the robot should discreetly turn right, left, or move forward, the simulation is then capable of evolving the appropriate algorithm which links sensor brightness to motor motion. The discrete motions are controlled by a separate proportional integral and derivative controller, which is fed the information by the brain on what to do next. By creating a world, agents, and purpose, the artificial evolutionary algorithm allows agents to make an internal model of the world around them to eventually accomplish their task. Thank you for your time.